Nice packaging. It's safe. Whew. I don't think they're gonna let me on too many airplanes with this. It looks too 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 official. Check that out. All right. Hi, I'm Evan Stoltz. I'm here uh, with It's a Necessity.net. We're going to go through the unveiling of the uh, splash drone made by Swell Pro and just the basics of getting it set up, um, putting the batteries in, chargers, and, uh, and calibration. Uh, you'll only have to do the compass calibration. When you receive it, everything else comes pre calibrated, and so we'll go through that. All right. Our batteries for both the controller and the drone, which I've already charged. Use the charger they give you. Um, don't leave those batteries charging too long. Once they're charged up, take them off. And then the rest of the stuff we'll go through later when we're dealing with videoing. This is just for basic flight. So, first things first, you gotta install your battery on your controller. So, on the back, just gonna open it up. Once this is charged up, you got red and black. Red is positive, black is negative. They just attach down here. Don't flip those backwards. It's never a good thing. It does say it has anti-reverse design though, so that's good. Get your controller in and on. And then we're gonna power that up. And this will be for calibration. You power up your controller, and then you go ahead and uh, power up the drone afterwards. So we got that thing powered up. The drone just opens four, four screws. Hand tight, don't need to go too crazy on those, you don't want to break anything, just need to make sure that that rubber seal um, gets a good connection everywhere so that way when it does meet the water, nothing breaks. So the one thing you do want to pay attention to with the, uh, with the battery pack is just making sure that the wires stay as far away from the compass as possible and it's pretty snug fit to keep these things small so you gotta take that velcro, move it aside, put the battery in on an angle. I do it with the wires facing the back of the drone. And then once it once it clicks in there, try not to break anything. Once it's in, you want to make sure that you've got it velcroed in nice and tight. And then when you charge it up or when you plug this in, try and do it quite quickly just so you don't get any sparks or anything going. Plug it in, you'll hear it power up. Oh. I did it again. This is actually a good thing to show you. Don't leave this foam in <laughs> when you when you put it on. It comes with the foam just to keep the gimbal steady. Um, it will just struggle to do its initial setting if you have that in there. So we're gonna try again. Plug it in. You're gonna hear a beep. There we go. That means that the drone is happy. Now I like to just push those wires out of the way to keep them away from the compass. We're gonna just stick the lid back on in case it starts raining here. Now if you can look in closely here, you see a blinking red light in that corner. And that's our indicator light that's going to let us know about the calibration and everything when it's ready. Screw that back on. As you can see, I don't have the propellers on yet. Um, better do the calibration with that off, just in case, and also so you don't bang them. Got the front of the drone facing the front of the boat. Now what we're going to do for the calibration is we're going to take our remote and we are going to... Um, switch our switch B, which is either the you know flight mode or the return home mode. We're going to stick it into the return home mode. And then that will allow us to take these two toggles. We're going to push the, uh, the joysticks. We're going to push the right one up to the top left corner. We're going to push the left one down to the bottom left corner. So they go like this, and we're going to do it until that light remains steady. There we go. So now the light is steady. It shows that we are ready to calibrate. So we're going to leave that there. So we're going to do 360s. Got our nose facing forward. Bring it around completely forward. And we've got to flip it upside down. We're going to do the same thing counterclockwise until our nose is facing forward again. Then from there, we're going to tilt it up and we're going to do a counterclockwise turn like this until the top is facing forward. Then we're going to go through each um, angle. We're going to do it there. Counterclockwise turn like that. We're gonna aim it down. Do a counterclockwise turn like that. And then we're gonna aim it to the other side. One more counterclockwise turn. And then we are going to set it down. We're gonna set it down. 
and we're going to wait for this light again. It's now been calibrated. We're going to wait for it to return to a blinking, um, slow blinking light. Hold it. There we go. So we've got a slow blinking light again. And now what we want to do is we want to return our um, toggle switch B to the up mode. And then we're going to shut down the drone and let it start back up and make sure everything's happy. Power down. Wait a second. All right, right back up. We'll listen for the beep. We saw that everything, our motors, good. Had that wire again. Put it back on. Good. All right, so calibration is done. Um, if it's been calibrated right, it will allow you to unlock the motors. They recommend that on your first time unlocking the motors, you leave your switch B in the up position, which is the flight mode, and then switch C. They recommend putting it down to the ATTI mode. I don't have the propellers on. I'm just going to see if the GPS uh, calibration went well. And by bringing our two joysticks to the inside corners, we see that the motors have turned on, which means we are good to go. And now let's get some propellers on there and I'll show you how to do that. So to unlock it, we're going to take our two joysticks and bring them to the outer corners at the bottom. There we go. Let's get some propellers. Okay, so we're now going to install the propellers quick and easy. Careful when you open the bags, there's two washers on the inside that are going to go down first. You don't want to lose those. You've got your two propellers. Um, if you look on the drone, you're going to see little arrows in front of each motor on the actual um, white or orange plastic part. Those are going to indicate whether that's a clockwise turning one or a counterclockwise turning one. The way I remember it, you've got two propellers, one with a silver cap, one with a, a black cap. The hands on a clock are black, so clockwise goes with black. So this guy's a clockwise one. We're going to place the washer on first. I'm going to do it on the other one over here as well, so I don't lose them. And then we're going to put them on. Now to screw them on, you're going to screw them in the opposite direction of the... Um, the arrow. So this one to screw on, you have to go counterclockwise, just screw on the clockwise, clockwise, just screw on the counterclockwise, etc. Just so that they are self-tightening. It's nice and easy once you got your drone going, then they're going to tighten themselves up. I just give them a little snug, but really nothing much. They're self-tightening. Um, also, they are designed that they won't go on the opposite ones, so that's handy as well. I haven't actually tested that. Let's test that theory. Just to make sure. So we're going to put Next two on, this one is a clockwise rotation, so clocks have black hands, so I'm going to put the black on it. Let's see what happens if we try and put a silver one on it. Yeah, it just doesn't want to go. So, black one is perfect, it's going to go against it. Once it's on, a little snug, and this one, clockwise, and there you go. Now your propellers are on, and now... When you go back into flight mode, we're going to talk about this in the next video, but uh, I'm just going to switch it back into GPS, and I'm just going to see that it's working. So I'm going to start them up, and there we go. we got a drone that is now ready to fly. Lock them off, joysticks to the outside corners, at the bottom. Voila. Now taking them off, super simple again. They shouldn't be on very tight. I'll just show you one. But to take them off, you're just going to follow the arrow that's shown on the, on the drone. Give it a little spin. They come off just like that. Stick them right back in their bags, back in the box. Don't break them. You're ready to fly. We're going to catch you on video number two, where we're going to go through the basics of flight, and we're going to start having fun with this thing. See you then.